The recent happening now in Ore is you are likely not to know what's happening at the next junction. And this was the case that I had on this particular day that I started off. Douglas. You know, where in most states, the minibuses are the most common means of transportation. And on this particular day, I was inside this minibus as the only passenger headed to Douglas. One thing that is also very common in Ore is the type of road, okay? The environment or your location determines the kind of road you are likely to see. I started off from a very bumpy road. In fact, there wasn't any, it wasn't even tight, but look at where I landed myself on this particular day, okay? So the location matters. There are some places that they are still constructing. There are ones that they have constructed. There are also others that they are still patching. So you are likely to start from a very dusty, environment then you enter to a very well tied road or you are likely to start off from a well tied road you don't even know how you land yourself into a very dusty environment that's what happens in a way but that's very much okay because it's just like that in almost all the towns since there are different locations as is common of every nigerian park immediately i reached this Park, I decided to enter the vehicle and I saw a man that was preaching so much about this facial cream, organic facial cream. I decided to patronize him and <laughs> I don't know for now, but trust me, I just bought it because of his preaching. You know. I'm currently at Alvo. I'm in the market square. I'm here waiting for someone who she's uh, an already YouTuber, okay? Her channel name is Oni Igbo. Uh, I want to meet her. Her mom also is a YouTuber. I'm at the market square. So this is Abu Market Square. And I'm waiting for her. <laughs> Look at that one. <laughs> Thank God I even started this vlog before you. See Oni Igbo, the only... <laughs> The only YouTuber that is just specialized on, you know, showing the culture of as the world culture and all of that. I'm not going to look at Grumo. Welcome to the channel. Tell Hello. us. Hello. Good morning. Uh, are you sure that it's morning? Okay, let's go. Okay, it's afternoon. Sorry. Don't worry. We'll get I don't to know. Because I wasn't even sure of where we were headed, but trust me, Oni understood where we were going to, so she knew that there would not be shops around there. She needed to buy uh, some minerals, bread, and water, especially for the people that will be meeting at the location. So that was exactly what she did. She bought all of this and also with a bag of sachet water. Do you know what I am holding? Are you a fan of this? As for me, I love the one that tastes so nice. And on this particular day, I was lucky, okay? I was lucky. And look at me, licking my inzu like a pregnant woman. <laughs> I was just enjoying it. It's like they test the, the name She begged the woman that is selling there to give us, to give her inzu. Then I was like, love throat inzu. So the woman gave her two. I begged her to give me one. And like, I hope she won't watch that. After getting those things, we flagged down a bike and our journey began. Okay, oh, what about bike? Like riding on a bike? When was the last time you rode on a bike? Please tell me in the comment section. On this particular day, we rode on this particular bike, and the bike man was nice. You know, the bumpy, bumpy, bumpy feelings because we were actually riding on a very bumpy environment. You can see, look at how the road is. So it's not actually very smooth. I, I think I prefer this than very tired road, especially this guys that are always riding around uh, the tide roads in Owerri. 
or more sometimes uh, these people it will be as if they dash somebody their lives but this one at least the speed will be lesser although this bike man was speeding okay i don't get new job and i work in the site can you see <coughs> I don't know. Let me not fall down. Imagine. There's a pit here. There's a pit. <laughs> yeah. So, I want to go and oversee people that are doing something. There's a man at the back. I want to go and oversee what he's doing. <coughs> but it's okay. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. I'm actually in Avu. I mean, it's a new developing estate in Avu. And this estate has a lot of lands, like massive lands. The ones that they've already bought and they are developing. And the ones they've not bought too. So. That's what we are here for now. Of course, one very general. After I finished overseeing this and we did a couple of things, I decided to head home. But what I met was not what I bargained for, okay? I met something that was actually bigger than me, just like they usually say, okay? Guys, I'm trekking, oh. I'm trekking. On our way to Douglas by Newmarket, we got stopped uh, by traffic there. And looking around, the distance trekking to that place and going to Ama JK Abi, close to Ama JK. Oh, sorry. Close to Ama JK or uh, probably close to St. Paul's, then trekking down to uh, Douglas or whatsoever. Before going to number one, we are enter a bike to church was you know the distance was much i decided to come down to the junction that is close to hero square guys i stood there for over 15 minutes i'm trying to beat the time but i didn't see any vehicle but i said that to wedral junction so i'm currently on my way trekking to wedral junction i don't know there are no vehicles applying that route i wouldn't know why uh, it's already a few minutes past 6 p.m. and we'll have divine encounter uh, the last day for today. Today is actually Wednesday. This should be the 9th of February 2022. Oh God, I don't want to miss this divine encounter program. And my phone is low. I can't really connect online from here coupled with i don't even have my earpiece then again it's also compulsory for all ministers and workers uh, the attendants at the area headquarters that's my parish too uh, our provincial pastor has mandated that it's compulsory and that the list of all the ministers and workers that are available or that we are present should be sent to the province I don't know what to do again. It's already late. My pastor should be in church. I would have, you know, maybe taken permission. But let me know how it goes. God. I can't get to church before Pastor Adeboye starts talking. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. But I have seen the reason why there are no vehicles plying this route. At the front here, I think they just blocked the road. They are constructing the road, so that's why. I don't want to still spend my money going to church and then I'm not getting anything. Neither do I want to go home and then leave everything. Oh God, this is why it's not working. They are constructing. If you even look here, the whole of this place is very beautiful. I think I will just, I think I will just come and make a vlog. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Our uh, governor, Hope Zodima is actually working, especially for this year since, okay, since the ending of last year. Since the ending of last year, he's been very much serious about this road work. So, Owere, the face of Owere is, 
you know changing gradually and I'm very much happy okay because it makes the vlog better sweeter neater and of course more enjoyable so that's it 30 minutes later I'm still trekking the whole of my legs are paining me and at this moment I think this should be 6.35 um, I'm, I'm, I'm also very close to Wedral Junction I think what I would do is once I get to Wedral Junction even though I don't like entering bike I went that bike to number one Naze Junction then enter another bike to church just to go and mark my attendance then by tomorrow tomorrow but by that time I would have charged my phone I'll just have to watch the replay online I think that's the best thing I would do I'm currently at the Nigerian Red Cross Society along that weather so almost getting to after this now you see St. Cross so let me just go what we do for God eh? hey Chiova if I had even known eh, I would have gone to, as in I would have followed the other road by now I would have reached where I was going that's why it's good to know some certain places or maybe the road very well it's because I didn't know the road that's why I took this decision but I think not just that because I didn't know that the road was blocked uh, which also amounted to me not knowing the road let me nah don't tire out this this life eh? let me just go okay this was the next day the next day saw me trekking again around the city of Owere but this wasn't about me again it took everybody on our ways you can see people trekking everyone was actually not prepared even the drivers they just came out at the Wedra junction they realized that the road was blocked because of the current road construction and what do i have to say about everywhere oh, there's no road here like i want to go to town this morning uh this is thursday i want to i want to go to town though look at all the buses they are stopping there because the road to where is blocked if you're coming from nazi or any other part the weather junction is blocked because of the road construction and i also have that catchy road is blocked so basically no vehicle is getting to town this was just one of the clips that i got about the current road that they were constructing just before the wedra junction okay thank you so much for watching up to this moment please like the video subscribe to my channel also share it to your loved ones to your friends so that they will know what's up